Hi! Now today, and I apologise for the weird camera angle, my tripod is playing up. Well, my main tripod has gone walkabout, so I'm using my backup tripod, which is slightly iffy. Putting that to one side, today we are going to look at the honey pomelo. What is a honey pomelo, you ask? Well, this is a honey pomelo. It's a fruit from Asia. I think this one in particular is from China. Um, it's part. It's a citrus fruit. It's part of the same family where you get oranges and tangerines and grapefruits. And indeed, you can breed these with. In fact, if you breed these with oranges, you get grapefruit. So grapefruit are actually a hybrid of this and oranges, and you can breed it with a tangerine to get different sorts of fruit. It's quite a sort of a heavy solid fruit. It does kind of feel like a sort of... It kind of feels like a grapefruit but with the skin more of an orange. It, it's kind of weird. Um, but the, the interesting thing is basically what you do um, with it depends on where in the world you are, whether you can get hold of these. In Latin America and in Southeast Asia Southeast Asia, you can basically get these any time of the year or year round in the local markets. Here in the UK, the only place where I can get them is a supermarket called Lidl, which I think is a German supermarket, and they only seem to appear around this time of year, which is sort of November, December time. We've been and bought eight of these today because it's the first time we've seen them for a year, and they are excellent. What you do is you peel the skin. Don't eat the, eat the skin. Although you can, um, I understand you can like frost, the, you can ice the skin and make it into like sweets or cut it in chocolate. So you can have it as like snacks or use it as a sort of a spicy peel. The same as you do use maybe orange peel or lemon peel in, I don't know, to give something a bit of zing, a bit of zest. You can use the skin like that. But the fruit itself is like this, the pieces inside, which it looks like orange. It's dry, it's absolutely dry, you know, which I like, you know, because I don't like getting sticky. And this is no stickiness at all, my fingers are absolutely dry handling this fruit. And it... Hmm... It's got a really, really solid texture. It's almost like steak. It's not that far, but it's like an uber solid orange. Um, it tastes like grapefruit, but a sort of a. It's got a little bit of a tang, a slight, slight tang that you'd like you would get in an orange, but not as sharp as an orange. Really good combination. Tastes great. Um, they're quite high in fibre, they've got tons of good things in them and because they are quite solid and they've got fibre in and everything you feel as though you've eaten something when you have some of this you know it's not like a lot of fruit where you basically you eat it and then you've eaten it and then you're still hungry afterwards you know you've eaten something if you eat a significant amount of pomelo it's really underrated fruit I think I definitely recommend trying these if you've never tried pomelo mm. Yeah, I don't know if the camera will pick this up, but that's what it sort of looks like up close. Definitely worth a try. Definitely worth a try. So, I hope uh, you've learned something today. I've reminded myself what uh, Pommel is like. Very, very nice, and I'm looking forward to uh, taking some to work tomorrow. So, I'll uh, see you again soon for another video. Bye!